Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Yeah, the old clock says it's five o'clock. Beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, I do appreciate you stopping by for a little bit today. Uh, today's beer is Firestone Walker. This is their 22nd anniversary ale. And guys, in the box, they give you this great big sheet giving you a lot of history on uh, blending and final blend and uh, a note from the brewmaster and just a whole lot of information to go along with this beer. I'm not going to read all this to you, but basically uh, it is a blended beer. Uh, this comes to me, by the way, of my brother Rico. He sent that, and his notes say a 12%, 12.7% strong ale is a blend of their limited release barrel aged beer. He says sold individually, and you get this little fancy box that they're going to stick it in. It is a 12 ounce beer. Uh, he said he bought it last month and it was around 12 bucks. Uh, Vintage years on the box, which is 2018, uh, and of course, Untapped has uh, a little bit more uh, information on it, and he's given that here. Uh, I'm gonna read Untapped because it's a little shorter than this big long list. Uh, it says we hum to present the 22nd anniversary ale, a beer celebrating our 22 years of brewing here on California's Central Coast. Each year. We host a barrel age blending competition with local winemakers and this year the winning blend is from Sherman Thatcher and Daniel Callen of Thatcher Winery along with Terry Hogue and Phil uh, Lamontigue, Lamontigue from TH Estate Wines with help from our friend and master bread maker Ari Littman. 22nd anniversary ale is 12.7% and is a blend of bourbon rum and gin barrels. It says the final blending for this, Sticky Monkey is 44% of it, Parabola is 22%, Bravo is 22%, Rum Barreled Hell Dorado is 7%, and Gin Barreled Hell Dorado is 5%. So you get all the blends from these barrel aged beers put together to produce what they have here in their 22nd anniversary ale. So, uh, Rico, thanks again, my brother. I do have some Firestone Walker beers that I've been selling for a long time, uh, and we will be getting to those uh, here probably pretty soon in the near future. We've been digging those out of the cellaring fridge and the closets here recently and getting them into the fridge. Uh, so, uh, that's why you're going to probably see a, uh, unless I get a beer mail package from somebody that's got some pale ales or IPAs or double IPAs in where I need to do pretty quick, we'll be doing probably, uh, as you probably have noticed, uh, a lot of heavier, darker beers. So, with that being said, uh, let's get on with this. Uh, they are saying it's 32 IBUs on untapped, 12.7%. Uh, We've got the anniversary ale here. It's got 2018 on it. We got 12.7% ABV, and we got 32 IBUs. And like I said, when you purchase this beer, you're going to get this big sheet telling you all about everything about the beer and the brewery and who helped and uh, the beers that they blended and all of that, guys. So a lot of information inside the box on this one. So. Uh, that is basically all we need to talk about. I have did some of their anniversary ales before. This is the most recent one that I have got. And instead of cellaring it, we're going to do it. And we're going we're gonna to do it pretty quick here. So, with that being said, let me get the cap off of this one. Nice hiss. A little bit of smoke coming out. Into the glass we go. And I'm going to go right down the center here, guys. 
see what happens. Good looking beer, not pitch black coming out. Uh, over to the light guys, I can see some light coming through here, red ruby lights coming through. It's a little on the darker side on the big bulb part here, but it definitely looks like a filtered beer, a blend of filtered beers. It's not uh, uh, super hazy or cloudy in the thin part of the glass where I can see some light through there. So good looking beer, about a half a finger of head on that one. To the nose we go. Oh yeah, awesome aroma. I mean, there's a whole lot of complex stuff going on in this beer with all the different barrels and, and types of beer they've used here. With the Sticky Monkey, Parabola, Bravo, El Dorado, and two different kinds of barrels. Rich roasted malt, hence of bourbon. Probably some gin in there. I'm not a big gin drinker, never was. I'm hoping the gin is not going to overpower everything. Caramel, toffee, molasses. Got a nice sweetness to the smell. It smells pretty good. It smells real good as a matter of fact. So that's how I've been. Cheers everybody. Cheers Rico. Thank you my brother. You're awesome. For a 7% rum barrel El Dorado, and the Bravo, and the Parabola, and the Sticky Monkey, I didn't go back and look up what barrels they used for the Parabola, Sticky Monkey, and the Bravo. I am a big fan of rum, bourbon, but gin is not, not my cup of tea, never was. I tried it, just didn't like it. And I am getting some gin influences for only 5% mixing in here, but it's not overpowering to me. But it's there. I can taste it a little bit. I'm giving the rum and hints of bourbon. Very nice sweetness to the beer. That is an awesome blend, guys. It is very, very, very tasty. Very well done. Uh, I'm usually impressed with what Firestone Walker does, guys. They make some outstanding world-class beers. Uh, anybody's had Sticky Monkey or Parabola, uh, El Dorado, those are pretty tasty beers, guys. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Uh, they're not cheap to buy. They are pricier beers, being uh, barrel-aged. Uh, so you're going to pay a little bit more for that. This is $12 for a 12 ounce bottle. That's a dollar an ounce. You can figure it out. I mean, it doesn't take a, a genius to figure out. If it's $12 and you got 12 ounces, that's a dollar an ounce. So, But it takes a lot of space up in the brewery when they barrel age these beers. Uh, and then when they start blending them and pulling so much from this one, so much from that one, so much from this one, so much from that one. That is a process. And... Uh, I'm sure they did several different variations before they figured out what they wanted. Uh, so, guys, right now, very damn tasty. Very tasty. But it's right out of the fridge. Let's let it warm up. Sip on it for a little bit. And we'll come back and do the final chug. Alright, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Been sitting on about an hour. Uh, awesome beer, guys. It's very, very tasty. I do like the blending they've done on this beer. Uh, nice bourbon notes, a little bit of gin notes in there. I think the gin uh, has subsided a little bit now that I've been sipping on it for about an hour. Uh, a very well blended beer. It's an awesome beer, guys. Just remember, it's just not a cheap beer to buy. Uh, comes out to about $12 an ounce. Uh, so, uh, but like I said, these barrel aged beers, uh, especially blended different barrel aged beers, costs a lot of money uh, there's a process to that so uh, you got to figure and then they're putting it in this cardboard box with this big printed up sheet of all the information that uh, let you know a little more history about what's going on in the making of the of the of the beer and what you're drinking so uh, very very well done very tasty beer an awesome beer but a pricey beer
So with that being said, if you like this style of beer and you like Firestone Walker's heavier beers, where they blended a bunch of their different heavier beers, five different ones, one, two, three, four, five different ones, um, very tasty combination going on here. A lot of flavors and aromas. Uh, very nice, very nice beer, guys. Uh, final chug on this one, a very pleasant beer. Excellent aroma on the beer. And like I said, the gin has subsided just a little bit. Uh, the bourbon notes from the different beers that they put in here are awesome. Absolutely awesome. Final chug. Wow, delicious. Alcohol seems to be fairly well hidden. It's fairly hot, being fresh as it is. You've got a great beer to sell her for a while if you choose to. But it is a monster beer, being 12, almost 13%, 12.7%. It's a big beer. It's one you want to drink at home, or at least have a designated driver if you're drinking it, if you by chance could find it somewhere uh, on tap. Uh, don't think you could do that unless you're somewhere out in California, close to the brewery. Uh, other than that, they may have bottled everything that they blended together for this 22nd anniversary. So, with that being said, uh, I think it's an awesome beer, guys. It's a very tasty beer. It's an outstanding beer. Uh, very delicious. Uh, it's a 10 for me. I'm going to give it a 10. Uh, I do like uh, all the different ones. I don't think I've had the Bravo, but I have had Sticky Monkey and Parabola in El Dorado before. Uh, all excellent beers in their own right, but blending them together uh, gives you a little bit more nuances and a little bit more flavors. Slight hint of some dark fruit in there too. Uh, very nice beer, very enjoyable beer. So Rico, once again my brother, thanks a bunch. I do appreciate it. You spend a lot of money on the beers you send me and believe me sir, it is very well appreciated. You are awesome my friend. Uh, 10 for me, 100. Over to Beer Advocate, they say 4.31 in their outstanding range. It is. It is an outstanding beer, guys. And over for our final check-in, we'll run over to Untapped, and they have it at 4.32. Also, awesome numbers from them. Not the best I've seen from either one of those. That's why I'm going a little bit above the grade. Uh, it is a very delicious beer if you like this style of beer. Uh, they blended five different beers to come up with this concoction here. And it works very, very well. Very nice beer. Uh, so, if you've had the 22nd anniversary ale from Firestone Walker, let me know what you think. I thought it was awesome, guys. Very tasty. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.